Hey everybody! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I do sound a little bit stuffy right now because I am getting over a sinus infection. I'm hoping for a little less background noise in this video. This is my second attempt at filming this. A little bit frustrated, out of breath here. Um, but my dogs like to bark. And especially when I'm filming, they like to bark. I can't control any other background noises you may hear, but hopefully my dogs will not bark. But that's the end of my disclaimer. Um, so yeah, I have another summer ween haul for you guys. Some people consider August fall, depending where you live. I know for those of you who live in Australia, it's not, but, <laughs> or other places in the world, it's not fall. Or it's still considered summer and it's still warm in some places, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna call it, another summer ween haul with some bonus non-spooky items. But most of the coloring books here I'm gonna show you today are spooky. <laughs> so, this is the first one I wanted to show you guys in my haul. It is the Spooky Cutie Cute and Comfy Coloring Book by Coco Wild. And we're not going to do full flip through probably because we have quite a few to get through, if I'm honest. <laughs> Let me take a sip here. We will do brief little flip throughs. Flip throughs? I can't speak today. Not only am I sick, but... uh can't talk so yeah this is super cute it's spooky and it's cute <laughs> just like that name implies yeah it's a little bit simpler designs excuse me this is gonna be a page a buddy color page this month so was another one, but you know, I'll probably do a few buddy color pages in this one. I normally like to film my hauls before I do any pages, but yeah, that was a quick little flip through of Spooky Cutie. And when you're looking up this book, I do believe Coco Wyo has another coloring book with a similar name, but it's a full size one. This one's smaller for reference this is a uh, full size and here's the smaller one I know my setup is not super great but yeah the, if you look for cute and comfy that's what this collection is part of next we have a very <laughs> kind of gruesome and spooky coloring book by Crook Crook Publishing and it's called Freak of Halloween it's a horror coloring book, so it's definitely spooky <laughs> and also a bit um, on the darker side. Like, these are definitely, this is like one of my first horror coloring books I've gotten. Like this picture is like definitely a bit gruesome. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people color from this coloring book publisher. Not necessarily this book in particular, but, excuse me, um, quite a few. And I thought I would get at least one. I'll probably primarily color in this book around Halloween time. But it's Summerween, right? So you can color spooky stuff whenever you want, even when it's not Summerween. <laughs> Some people just color horror stuff all the time. I don't know, I'm somewhat of a seasonal colorist, somewhat not. I usually just color whatever I want or whatever my buddy colors want to do because I do a lot of buddy colors as you will see in my July wrap up. Most of this month I did a bunch of buddy colors. Okay, 
Next we have an older one by Coco Wayo. Right now they're doing mostly the mini books, but this is a full sized book and it's called Spooky Doll. Like I said, it is a little bit older. I've seen some really cute pictures from here. So I really wanted to get this book. And I do have at least one buddy color planned from this book this month. So yeah. Sorry if I'm skipping so much of it. Yeah, that is Spooky Doll by Coco Wild. And I'm sorry, I'm so snuffly. Next is a non- <laughs> spooky book because we have two non-spooky books in this haul and this one is a group book for me and my friends on instagram sorry if you can hear that people outside are loud um my friend emily lauren and lexi we're gonna color one to two pages out of this monthly so that should be fun. I know you guys are mostly here for the spooky stuff, but I thought I would show this anyway because it arrived. Just in case you're interested in this sort of style of book. This one's like very affordable. It was only like $5 on Amazon. So yeah, Fairy Dress by Viva Tinta. Next, we have another <laughs> non spooky book. I promise it's the last one. And this one was purchased not by me. Here is the page. But courtesy of Jenny's Pages, who is here on YouTube. I will tag her down below. I think she bought everybody who was in her coloring group um, something, and I thought that was super nice of her. I've been wanting to complete all the romantic miniatures, not the romantic miniatures, I mean the miniature series, I'm sorry, the miniatures by Camila Andrzejkova. And this was one I didn't have. I'm not sure when this one came out, it might have been a couple years ago. But it's definitely more of a spring Valentine's Day vibes. I mean, you can color whatever, whenever you want. So you could do, like, I could probably see myself coloring this some other time too. But I'll probably color this more so, I think, around February of next year. Um yeah I wanted to say thank you to her for that and show you guys this miniature book just in case you're interested in Camila's stuff next we have <laughs> another Camila and Jacoba book that I purchased myself this is 50 autumn miniatures in preparation for spooky time I wanted to get this one and just like with romantic miniatures I noticed the line art is a little bit thinner just be warned if you want to purchase this some of her older books the line art is a little bit thinner with the miniatures so if you're someone who likes markers it may bleed a little bit but I will still probably take another sip here <clears throat> try to attempt to use markers occasionally I may use color pencil as well love owls excuse me yeah so that's 50 autumn miniatures like I said this is a little bit of an older book but definitely a good one to have if you're into fall and autumn Next, we have her other autumn time 
miniature book. We have 50 Halloween miniatures, and this one's a little bit different because all the pages, the background is blacked out. And this one I think would probably be my favorite between the two. I do have the monster themed minis that she did. I think, I'm not sure if it was miniatures or it was just monster themed. It was a newer book that she came out with. So if you like that one, you'd probably like this one too. But yeah, super cute. All the spooky stuff plus cuteness. That's like my favorite. <laughs> Cute spooky stuff. This one's going to be a fun one to color in for Summerween and Halloween. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about the background, so. It's already done for you. I love her owls. <laughs> There's another owl. Yeah. So that is 50 Halloween miniatures. I don't know what that was. I think that was a tugboat. <laughs> I live by the pier, so. <laughs> okay, next we have Spooky Baby by, this is also by Crook Crook Publishing. And this is like one of their more cutesy um, coloring books. Less gruesome. I mean, there's some images in here that are a little more questionable. I, this one reminds me of Spooky Doll. There's literally a doll, so... There's also like a caption by each page. This reminds me of the Lonely Pumpkin, which we did a flip through of the first book in my other Halloween haul. See, that one's a little gruesome. <laughs> This is also gruesome. It's like in her mouth, it's kind of gross. <laughs> it's still chibi style though, I feel like. Yeah, that's Spooky Baby. And this one is like a little bit of an older book. And I think like, a lot of the books I got are older, but they were not my collection, so I wanted them. All right, our last book is 50 Haunted and Autumn Fairy Houses to Color by Camila Injikova. Take another sip there. And this one looks cute. I think she has another fall themed fairy house book. But I got this one. And I don't know if all of the images are black in the background. See, this one isn't. So you have a variety here. Some of these are more, like this one's more fall. It's less spooky. That's a cute one. <laughs> well, they're all cute. I like the little animals. A little witch. And a, I guess this is a potion bottle. Was it kind of a gourd? We have an underwater theme here. Looks like Ursula's lair. Of course, we have to have candy. Yeah, this one should be a fun one to color. All right, 
right, I'm sorry if I rushed through this a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. It was fun for me to film for sure. I like showing you guys all the fun coloring books that I get. I don't usually get coloring books every month, but in July I happened to get a bunch. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and take care.